They hire work crews. These are the these are the kinds of jobs that are on those work crews. Um, what's important to weatherization is BPI accreditation um, and, and certification. Um, accreditation is for businesses. Certification is for workers. That basically is a process that that. Um, indicates and it's a it's a national certification so if you had a bpi certification you can you're, you're actually certified to do that work anywhere in the country and and more and more projects are requiring bpi certification <coughs> these are where this is where a listing of where i could identify where you could get the training um, uh, for bpi and there's probably about 15 different organizations. Many of them are community colleges um, and the like. Those are the, the occupational skills that you can get trained for in BPI. The other important, important certification, and again, it's, it's basically low, is what we call this NABSAP certification, which is quite intense. And this will qualify you and certify you as being um, uh, solar, uh, solar installation skills. And again, if anybody wants this presentation or is interested in it, please give, provide for me your email address and I'll, and I'll send it to you electronically. These are the, the uh, occupational titles that you can get with, um, uh, to get certified for the NEDA certification. Lead design is also becoming very important. Um, lead certification is a nationally recognized uh, distinction for buildings. Um, then there's prevent professional credentialing within leads, mainly uh, uh, higher level jobs, some in new construction, some in co uh, commercial construction. Um, and they're even developing a lead fellow, which is like a really distinguished title for leads. Um, the stimulus, uh, there's a lot of money coming down in stimulus. I mentioned the $400 million for weatherization. There's energy efficiency conservation block grants, which uh, Lou, I believe a chunk of that money probably already is designated. I don't know if it's arrived in Yonkers, but that's a formula-based um, um, dollar figure based on the, the population size of the municipality and all municipalities with 35,000 or more get it the state energy program is administered through NYSERDA there's a lot of money through NYSERDA there's money that is actually withheld from your energy bills uh, for regional gas uh, carbon reduction and a lot of that money gets um, um, delivered in terms of workforce training throughout New York State the federal government just released $500 million in green jobs training, and, and that money is, uh, there's going to be state and local initiatives. It's a competitive grant basis, but um, it's, it's for many of these, the, the same industries we talked about. This is the, the site for a, ARRA information. It's extremely extensive for New York State. If you want to know where the projects are being awarded, what are the opportunities in terms of money? There's even some uh, job information that you can get through recovery, this recovery.gov. Any questions? Yes? Schools are, are critical partners uh, in uh, at least three of those. There's five different areas of grants. One is Pathways Out of Poverty. One is the State LMI grant, Labor Market Information Grant that that would probably be somebody like uh, an organization like mine would be applying for. But there's state sector type grants, schools, um, colleges, community colleges are all critical partners. The intent of any of these grants that are coming either from the state or from the local or, or, or from the federal government require the collaboration of workforce development folks, economic development folks, educational folks, and the business community. If you don't have that collaboration, you're not going to get selected for the grant because those are the four partners that are critical to, to effective use of the money. Yes? Uh, the weatherization program, is that ARRA as well? That's ARRA. That's through ARRA. There, there is an existing weatherization program in New York State that amounts to about $60 million. And that's administered to 50 or 60 CBOs across the state. I, I'm not familiar with Yonkers or who, who, who delivers that. What is it? Westcott. Westcott. Um, that's been in existence for a long time. It's the largest. 